Hello everyone and welcome to a Kerbal Space Program video. Today we are going to be doing a little trip to Minmus. You can see me constructing the rocket here. Here's a little uh, failed test launch. I'm just testing it out. I ended up needing some uh, radial vernier engines. But we're going to be doing a little trip to Minmus, just a simple direct uh, ascent mission to Minmus, landing and return. I noticed some people struggling on the subreddit, r slash uh, Kerbal Academy, that, you know, they weren't able to get a Minmus encounter, uh, uh, or just some basic, you know, first landing and return missions. It's really not that hard. I am going to be playing in sandbox mode today. Um, I don't really like career, uh, career mode or science mode. I think it's a little bit restrictive. A career mode, you know, you do a lot of menial tasks. In science mode, you know, it gets very repetitive, and it's really not all that hard to unlock the tech tree. So, once you've done that once or twice, I feel like uh, sandbox is a good next step. Or if you're just starting out, I think it's, uh, you know, it's learn the fundamentals. And we have already launched, actually. So here's the rocket. Uh, we are carrying Jebediah, and I don't remember if it was Bill or Bob, but here we are. Uh, we are launching. We started with the uh, big, oh, I don't remember the name, I should probably learn it with the amount of hours I've spent playing this game, but we've launched, and we have the uh, Reliant engine as our second stage engine, and then after we circularize and uh, get on our course to mend this, we're going to be doing the rest of this with just with the, with the lander. Um, we don't have a lot of science equipment, although I'm sure you could carry more science equipment, but really this lander has surplus delta V to go uh, anywhere really in the carbon system. You could probably do a MUN landing, but it might be a little bit tight. You can definitely do a MINMIS landing. And if you are playing on career or science mode and you do really, really need to get those career or science points, you can hop, out or hop around a few times on the surface of MINMIS. You have plenty of delta V. So as you can see here, we've circularized and created that maneuver node. Uh, you can see those indicators lining up at the Minmus orbit. And now we're just fine tuning our Minmus orbit. We're just gonna get a sort of rough encounter. You can see me sort of playing around with the maneuver node here, uh, trying to get the maneuver. And I'm just burning, extending those solar panels so I don't run out of energy uh, or electricity, mind you. Um, so we are, you know, gonna be doing a pretty basic bit mission here. I did a, end up overshooting the burn. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty simple maneuver node, and since I'm using relatively high thrust to weight ratio engines, it's really not a problem. There we go, decoupling that stage, and we are doing the rest of the mission on this one engine. Um, it's really not too hard. You can see me, I overshot the burn a little bit, but I will just re-get it. It's more efficient to do your uh, inclination burns while you're on the course, because the further away you are from the body, um, of this uh, of where you're trying to land the uh, more efficient it is if, if rather if you're uh, trying to burn prograde or retrograde it's cl uh, better if you do it closer to the surface closer to your periaps because of the oberth effect you're moving faster but for inclination it's the exact opposite you actually want to be as far away as possible for something like min mist it probably doesn't make that big of a deal since it has so low surface gravity but, you know, why not? So you can see me adjusting my periaps over Minmus there. Uh, I'd recommend something around 10 kilometers or so. Any more than that, and, you know, you're just too high, and why bother? You know, you might as well get it lower. And any lower, and you actually risk hitting some high mountains of Minmus, because Minmus does actually have some pretty high, you know, jagged mountains, along with, you know, the clearly infamous flats that everybody sort of tries to land on. Uh, they're a great starter location. I really generally would recommend Minmus as your first location to land on over the Mun, because even though it is further away, it requires more Delta V to get there. It requires way, way less Delta V to get uh, to land on, and overall, getting there and back takes less Delta V. It's actually a lot easier. So you can see me, I burned retrograde, um, I'd recommend canceling out your horizontal velocity first, 
and then canceling out your vertical velocity you can see i have kerbal engineer installed so you can see up in the top right of uh next to my altitude meter you can see i have a suicide burn that sort of lets me time that i have a couple mods here um i have transfer window plano uh, plant transfer window planner uh, kas better time warp uh, among a few others but the only ones that you can actually see in this video would be better time warp which does pretty much what it says allows you to time warp uh, while you're burning quicker and sets your own time warps and then transfer window planner which would just be uh, for interplanetary missions which hopefully we will uh, get to do at some point in the future I'm planning on doing a Mun mission next and then we'll do uh, maybe Duna uh, or maybe Gilly I don't know if you'd like to uh, see a Gilly or Duna mission just uh, let me know so we've landed here, uh, we have a little, uh, well I guess he already did it, Jeb got out and planted a flag, we took some science, although, you know, it is a uh, sandbox mission, so, or sandbox m uh, mode, I guess, is that the right word, mode? Uh, sandbox mode, so we don't actually need to do any science. This was a really inefficient ascent, I could have done this a lot better, but I sort of just lazy at this point, so... We've uh, landed and we are prepping for that maneuver node, just a circularization, although I guess I could eject. So here's how to get from Kerbin. I see a lot of people just burning uh, straight out from Menmus along their orbit, not even caring the direction they're going. But I would recommend burning, uh, so if you see, uh, if you look at Menmus's orbit and which way it's going, if you wanna descend in your orbit, you burn retrograde relative to Menmus and you'll uh, sink your orbit lower than Minmus, and if you exit higher, then, well, it'll uh, exit higher in a higher orbit than Minmus. This is really good for interplanetary maneuvers because, you know, uh, relative to Kerbin, because it'll save you a bunch of Delta V. So you can see me here, uh, or I guess it already happened, planning that maneuver node there, burning it there, just to lower my periaps into Kerbin's atmosphere. Now, we're not gonna be able to land at the KSC, unfortunately, because I didn't have enough to circularize at Kerbin, and I'm too lazy to, you know, arrow break enough times to eventually get accurate and land at the KSC. Uh, we are gonna be landing on the daylight side, so you can see it though, uh, ditching that stage, and we are just going to go straight in. We're not even gonna arrow break, we're just gonna re-enter the atmosphere, and uh, just Bill and, uh, or uh, Jeb and Bill, I think it is, we're re-entering here, uh, this, it, this is played at 100% uh, re-entry heating, everything's at normal settings, so you will absolutely be able to do this if you want. Um, craft file, well, I might put it in the description, we'll see. But uh, you got the parachute here, and simple landing, we have our Kerbals back on the surface of Kerbin. Pretty simple mission, but easy to follow along if you've never done this before. Thank you for watching, guys.